Glaciers are natural wonders. They're shapeshifters. Wild and alive, they hold the keys to the secrets of humanity's past, of humanity's future. I'm Dr. M. Jackson. I am a geographer, glaciologist, and National Geographic explorer. For over a thousand years since settlement, Icelandic history, economy, and culture has been interwoven with ice. Glaciers have always advanced and recessed. The rate they're melting today is faster than at any other time in human history. But the story of ice, it's not so simple. Today, we're doing terminal marine surveys of Hafelsjökull. Between 1890 and 2010, nearly four kilometers of the glacier's physical body dissolved, largely due to increasing air temperatures. While half my research focuses on glaciers, the other half focuses on the people who live with glaciers. Every year, millions of people travel to Iceland to see the ice before it's gone. That's one of the things I think a lot about, about what you two do, is you're out here every day. When you're taking pictures, even of your tourists, you're taking a record of what the landscape looked like that day. Because add 10 days, add two weeks, add a year, it's entirely different. This place changes. Different. It changes every single day. Many locals, like Sola and Gio, have started glacier-related businesses out of the coastal village. The temperatures increase. I mean, it, I almost don't believe it, and I work out here. I have to look at these images. Some Icelanders have told me that as glaciers melt, they melt money. I've seen an economic shift that has reinvigorated this entire region and allowed me unique access not only to glaciers, but to the people working with them. Beautiful crevasse. Beautiful. I'll have to take a big step over. Slow and easy. For nearly a decade, I've been working on the southeastern coast of Iceland, home to Europe's largest ice cap, Vatna Yogurt. I think Iceland is a living classroom, a huge opportunity to bridge the gap between scientific data and human stories of change. As the tourism industry booms, fishing, the backbone of Hub's economy, responds to glaciers in surprising ways. As glaciers recess, the land, like a sponge, rebounds upward. Hub is actually rising. Coupled with sedimentation, over the coming years, it's possible that large ships may no longer be able to enter and exit. What happens to fishing families then?
everything I do focuses on trying to make sense of the physical and social changes surrounding us. To me, this is what is so powerful about glaciers. Glaciers make visible abstract concepts, make visible climatic changes, human history, large timescales. Make visible the stories we're all a part of, the stories we ignore, the stories we act upon. If there is one thing my work continues to show me, it's that ice influences us just as much as we influence ice. What happens to ice happens to us.